is one of your earliest works. Yes. Well, um, if you call being adult, yes, I wasn't a child. <laughs> I'd, um, yes, I was teaching then all. Yes. So I got to start because I think it's really interesting to see the change in style between one of your earliest works and it's under the bubble here, but the mm -hmm. work that you're still working so, on so now. Still trying to work still on Still working it? on now, so your most recent work. Mm -hmm. And obviously there's a huge journey between these two paintings. Mm -hmm. What was the first abstract? I told you the first abstract was in where you were sitting, where you were sitting yes. above your head. Yes. The black and white one. Yes. That's the very first abstract I know. Yes. I know that much. It's in the 1960s, the first one. Oh, God, how old am I? Um, <laughs> don't worry about that. But um, see, this is from. Has he got a date on it? Let's look at it. Okay, um, Isle of Dogs. Isle of Dogs, yes. Have I got a date? No. No, okay. Well, Sometimes. it was... I don't know if I was teaching no. by then. I think that was possibly the first non-abstract one. Right. I mean, the last abstract the last. one. Probably one of the last. It's interesting here, you can see the, the lines of abstraction. Yes, I suppose so, yes. Why maths? Maths? Well, no, I, was, I just did maths at school as usual. Yeah. And was quite happy with this. I wasn't worried by it, by any kind. Um, well, I just got intrigued by the things like Fibonacci numbers and golden sections and those things, and I brought them into pictures. Yeah. So I used them. Yeah. So quite a lot of them have got a basis like that or or an integrated somewhere in it. It's amazing, but it's amazing to think that all of these paintings have mathematics somewhere in them. Yes, usually, usually they have, yes, yes. Well, I suppose that one's not quite. Although it is mathematical in a way. There always seems to be some maths at the core of the work. I think there's a bit of maths in most of them. Yeah. And some of them is based on it and it starts with it. And am I right in thinking that sometimes the inspiration is also nature? Oh, very often, yes. As you see, with a lot of the ones that say um, river something or the other. River weed. And that sort yeah. of thing, yes. Yes, yeah, so you look at nature. And the movement that goes on with it, you know. Yes, yes, I do do a lot of notice of nature and what nature does. And then what you're doing is noticing nature and then looking at the underlying maths that you find within nature? Yes, there's maths within nature, of course. Well, as you know, the golden section, Fibonacci, they're all in nature. They're all, they're all come up in, in natural projects plants and things that all got it. Can you tell us about this piece? Can I take the... Well, this is a very old, old new one. I it's new. I'm, I was working on it. And uh, so the man came along and painted the shed and put me off, so I oh. stopped at that point. Oh. And then uh, somehow things got a bit complicated. That's a sketch for it. Yeah, it's not it's only about half finished, I suppose. So it's a fairly basic one, I might say. Uh, so tell me, you make a sketch? Yeah, I make a, I make a small one usually. Yes. Oh yes, I don't go straight home. Yeah. I work it out beforehand. Yes. But here you've got collage, which I've not seen before. Well, it's not meant to be there. It's going to be paint. I see. So you put collage on for your ideas, so you can pin. Well, I, I, I use them. Um, a car, or if you call it that. I just work out what I'm going to do and make it as a proper process as I can before I actually paint it. So I can see what it's going to be. I see. So I can work it all out here and then I can transfer it. That's amazing, sir. It's very systematic and mm. systems based. Mm -hmm. What based? Systems based, systematic. So yes. here you have your idea, which is visual and 
Yes, where did that idea come from? Don't ask you. <laughs> I don't know. I must have known. I can't wait to see this finished. This one? Yeah. Yes, I will attempt to. I'm rather feeble now. In the last few months, I've not been quite up to things as I ought to be. But still, Michael's going to make me have exercises. Amazing. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's incredible to see the here, the sort of the, the preliminary ideas. Yes, that's it. I mean, obviously, I had one or two other goes at getting it how I wanted it until I got to this, and I thought that would be all right and started it. Amazing. It's all the same there as it is there, really, as you can see. Yes. Do you have a favourite painting? Do I want? Do you have a favourite painting? One that you feel like, oh, I'm so happy I did that. Oh, yes, you know, you've got at least one of them now. Okay. That's the one on the folder. Do you know the, the thing with Bridget and me on the picture and some writing about us? If I see, I've got one. Mm. It's got my picture called Double Shadow. Oh, Double Shadow, yes. Now, that's one of my, I think, my good. And uh, there are others too. Oh, and I think another one you've got. Um, the George de la Yes, yes. I wonder, yes. Yes, the spotty I've, got one. My, I've got the series of those. One is more full blown, there's more of it, and some have less in it. But it's all basically from the same idea of. Because it was the Georges de la Jean series from several of south of France and I and you've got this sort of sense of shadow coming through it and the way the dots change. And the dots are all absolutely spaced for how I want them. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Because they're not accidental. They're put there because I've put them there. <laughs> Nothing's but... accidental. You put them because you put them there. I love that. They're also, the colours are very specific. Yes. Can you tell us about how you decide on the colours. With the Georges de la Jean series, yes. the colours change as the spots rotate. Um, it's lovely to see your painting behind you. I was just thinking maybe you could talk to us a bit about um, your love for Mondrian. I just wondered if there was a museum you used to visit where you saw his work. Well, I certainly got in touch with his work. I was very impressed indeed, yes. I suppose that's what started me off going abstract. Montreal, yes, well, when did he turn up, so to speak, generally? Well, uh, there was something about his order, I suppose. I wondered, obviously, um, Bridget Riley, who you're showing in the exhibition at the moment, yes. um, is a similar generation. She's 90. And she's, yeah, she's about nearly my age. Yeah, nearly your age, exactly. Mm -hmm. But do you remember seeing her work? Obviously, you know her work. Um, I wondered if you, how do you feel about having her work and your work? Well, I think it's very good of her to be able to put up with a new comrade like me. <laughs> No, 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 I thought it was very nice. I was quite flattered. And so I, the other thing I wanted to ask you, Kathleen, was um, obviously with your work and Bridget's work, mm -hmm. there's a synchronicity in terms of you both enjoy looking at nature. Synchronicity. Oh, yes. yes, she does that, doesn't she? Yes, I, I, I always have been interested in it, but only in a general sort of way. And then I... I I mean, I could be cycles. I, I, I feel they, as a bit of the work, they kind of tell the person who's looking at it that it has a relationship with a river doing this, that, and the other, or parts of nature behave, and clouds, and the weather, and that sort of thing. So, usually, my cycles have got some sort of relationship to nature very often. That's really useful about the titles having a relationship to nature and I think that's where I think what's interesting is to see I think Bridget's work is also based on her, her response to nature um, but it, it perhaps is 
um, it's systematic but intuitive. Yours is based on nature, but then you then bring in the mathematics that you have such a yes, great... Yes, the mathematics is quite important, especially as I went on and became aware of all the theories that you can find. Well, of course, I only found the two that I really worked with, which was the Fibonacci and the Golden Section. Because I think I've always been aware of the shapes, you know, they're all, I'm very aware of the shapes and how they fit together. Uh, no, I, I just work, you know, I don't think about theories, except those two which I had used. And what is this about the golden section and Fibonacci theories that you particularly like and... Well, the golden section, of course, gives everything into some good proportion. You relate the part of it to the other part and so forth. Um, Fibonacci, well, of course, that's quite simple. It's just one and one make naught and then one, which is an error. You add two numbers together to make the next number rather than just carry on one, two, three, four, five. And so I just use them. I just get them out. Uh, Every picture I do is sort of different, you know, I don't just... <laughs> What were you saying? Every picture you do is unique, obviously, and Well, different. it's not meant to be. All of us, when I do a series, like the ones with the, you know, the dots and things, what's it called? Georges Delagent. Oh, Georges Delagent, oh, yes. Yes, there were quite a series of those. I wondered if you could, you know, the Riverweed series? Yes. So we've got that in the show. I'm wondering what whether it's Golden Section or Fibonacci? I think the rhythm on it is just river weed. Okay. And it's, it's got its own rhythm, its own series or its own... There seems to be a nice order to it. And again, it's a series that you've made where they're all slightly different. It might, yes, yeah, so there were a number. But yeah. One was river weed. And there were things like cool sea or something, and that sort of thing. All those sorts of words, which I hoped, or I thought, came from the fact that I did the picture and then thought, oh, that's what I was doing. <laughs> or maybe I thought of it at first and then did it. I can't tell. So you showed us in the studio just now mm -hmm. A little sketch that you are, have done for the painting that you're making at the moment. Yes. Do you always do that or it sounds like sometimes like with Riverweed mm -hmm. maybe you don't have sketches or do you did you always do sketches? Well anything as complicated as that one I would always do sketches. Not, not ske I don't call them sketches I call them trying to work it out you know. And also I try to make sure it all interrelates and things do relate to each other. And I notice when I look at some other people's work that they don't have this relationship in which I always try and have. So that they, all the parts belong to the other parts. So everything has to, to be knitted together. I don't just like it to hang off, you know. Do this and do that, and just hang it off there or hang it off there. No, life has to have an integral feel to the thing. So it's a kind of honest get together. Honestly, I meant to say honesty is what I was trying to for quite a lot. Just for honesty in what it was. If you can have an honest picture, I don't know, but that's what I was I think, aiming for. I love this concept of an honesty underpinning. Mm. I love what you've just said about honesty yes. and having an honesty and an interrelation between the forms yes. that, um, like you say, it's not just running off, you know, off one another. Mm. It's about the honesty of the shapes and the forms. Um, I think that's a really interesting concept. I think that's possibly you why... tell me, but I don't know what I said. You said that honesty underpins your work, and honesty in terms of the shapes. 
Yes, I want to say, all I say is, well, the things are integrated, I suppose, and belong to each other. But quite often, it's only recently a day or two ago I noticed other, some other people's work, I don't know who it was. I thought some, these do lack a kind of integration of the parts in quite the way as I wish, as I do. So that the whole thing does make a whole, it, when it's a river or a, or a light breeze or something, I can feel that I've shown that in it, in the picture, in whatever way.